Welcome to part 3 of the extension development course. In this video, we will be creating our first extension using Rush. It will be a math related extension in which we will add functionality to add, subtract, multiply, and divide to numbers. So let's start. Open the directory where you want your Rush extension project to be, type cmd, in the top bar. After it is opened, type rush, space, create, space, and your extension name. Type the necessary details about the extension. You can select the coding language of the extension by using the up and down arrow keys. I will be selecting Java. As you can see our first Rush extension project is created. You can find the Java source file of your extension in the source directory. I am using IntelliJ IDE to code the extension. You can use any IDE or code editor you like. Our extension project is now open and we will now edit the extension code. Firstly we will remove this default code. Now before continuing let me tell you the annotation for the blocks. The purple block is called the simple function block. Inside it, there are two categories, let's name them returning and non-returning for you to easily understand. The returning block can return an integer, string, etc. whereas the non-returning block will not return anything and is used to carry out a function without the need to return anything. The yellow block is called the simple event. It is used to check if an event or function is completed or not and can be used to return some values after completion of a function. The green block is called the simple property. It has two categories, light green and dark green. The light green returns a value and does not need any parameter, unlike the simple function. The dark green block does not return anything and is used to set values of the variables in the extensions. Now let's move to the extension. We will create a simple function block for all the functionalities of the extension. For that, type at the rate simple function. Let's now declare a function or method which will add to numbers. I am assuming that the basics of Java are clear to you, as stated in my previous video. We are going to make a returning simple function block, so we will not make the function return void, instead, we will make the function return an integer. If you want to make a non-returning simple function block, type void, instead of int, the name which you will give to this function, will automatically become the name of the block in the extension. The same goes for the parameters you put in this function. The first block is completed, now we will do the same for other functions, such as subtract, multiply, and divide. The coding part is completed, now we will compile the extension. To do so, go to the extension directory and type cmd type rush, space, build. The extension is now compiled. Let's test it. As you can see, it's working perfectly. 
That's all for this video, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more useful and informative videos. See you again in next part.